hey there Kendall Williams coming to you today and you know my shirt says live life adventurously and the last month I, I I mean I live life pretty adventurously anyway I know that anybody who follows me probably knows that I love to travel I love adventure but you know today today I was blessed to co-teach a class with uh, Dr. Michael Harris and him and I taught a class on bondage and rope play and all that good stuff. And, you know, I, I chose to wear, wear the shirt that I have on right now, Live Life Adventurously, because often in our relationships, we forget what adventure is. We forget how to play. We forget how, that, you know, sometimes to just change it up a little bit and do something like some rope play is a good thing. And one of the things that I've been getting a lot with a lot of the couples that I'm coaching is the the question of well what do I do to bring some sizzle into their relationship what do you mean by play what do you mean by you know it, adventure dating or you do doing something something dates as I refer to them and it really is about being playful and exploring what options are out there it does not always mean that it has to be in the sexual arena being playful living adventurous means going and trying new things so you know we shut down in our relationships we get really really accustomed and feeling safe in, in our relationships and that just kills our spontaneity, it kills our playfulness and guess what, the mystery, the desire, the passion, all of that stuff actually just goes away too. And with that, we're not growing as much. Adventure is actually us growing. So i encouraging everybody who listens to this video right here to go out and do something different. Go out and play, you know. I was on a picnic date at the lake early in the week and we ended the date by sitting in a hammock and just snuggling. After having just a simple picnic, we got some food from Trader Joe's and we just crashed and watched the sunset on a picnic blanket and it was absolutely marvelous. I went to a haunted house on a date recently and that was so much fun. I spent two hours laughing. It was an adventure. I've been to Six Flags. I've, you know, I've been, I've been to a great festival a wine festival, you know, um, off to Studio Movie Grill and enjoy some good movies and food. Just you name it, I've been going and doing it. And it's been adventure after adventure after adventure. And, and I know that anybody that I coach, I always am trying to share different things. Add in a blindfold. You know, take your sweetie in the car blindfolded someplace. Take her out. Let her go in and enjoy some food blindfolded. Yes, your ego's going to rise up. People are going to look at you when you walk into a restaurant with, a, with the woman, you know, that you're with blindfolded. But you know what? That is so fun. There is so much sensory there. There is so much playfulness there. But I really encourage you to just try new things. It doesn't always have to mean that you're trying new things in the bedroom. The adventure, the mystery, the desire, the passion, the playfulness actually starts before you ever get to the bedroom. So if you want to have playful sex, start having playtime before you ever make it to the bedroom or wherever you're having sex at, okay? Get creative get adventurous, look at what is around your area, go try new things, and just explore life and explore each other. Okay, so I hope that this was helpful, and you can find me at www.kendallwilliams.com.